show. This competition seems to only grow in popularity. In fact, some people think the three-point contest has surpassed the slam dunk contest in terms of interest level, a testament to how far this event has come. And at this point, Shaq, there are so many great shooters in this league, it's hard to leave certain guys out of this event. Yeah, a few of the selections may have been close calls, but we all know who the favorites are. Well, you know what? There are a few guys here that are in the top tier, so it should be another showdown for the ages. And now time for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. All-star action is on the menu. It's your boy, Alpha King Carter here. I don't know what he was talking about at tip-off, but today I'm bringing you guys the three-point contest. This is my second episode of my career, so I decided to go ahead and keep it going with the All-Star Weekend with you guys. Now, yesterday I did drop a video about Patch 5, so if you want to know anything about the patch, go ahead and go to that video. Um, a lot of people was telling me that it was a dope, funny ending, but check it out, man. Uh, YouTube has told me that I have to let you guys know to turn on the bell for notifications, as well as go into your settings on your phone and turn on notifications for the YouTube app to make sure that you guys see videos like this. Now, let's start it up. I got the best jump shot in the league um, solely because after patch 5, I decided, you know what, why not test out jump shooting because they talked about fixing full whites and things like that. So I said, <laughs> why not go into All-Star Week into the three-point contest and test it out. Now, I told you guys if my last video got enough likes, I would let you guys know what my jump shot is. And I feel like this is the best jump shot even after patch five. The base is going to be Tony Parker and the uppers is going to be Steph Curry. Now, the reason why I kept the uppers on Steph Curry is because when the game first dropped, I was using Steph Curry until I got the jump shot creator. And then I just changed up my base to make my jump shot a little bit more quicker. So honestly, with all the greens that I'm shooting, you guys should understand why this jump shot is dope as well as you notice where i land after i jump i don't jump much forward i don't jump that high so the release actually is very fast now of course it looks slow because i'm playing this game and that camera angle and everything i don't know why but once i got the timing down for this it was it was insane like check out rack two and three like i went what 10 straight 11 straight 12 straight come on gracious i was going crazy for a little bit but um let's see what steph curry does let's see if he can uh come out and show off with his jump shot now you'll notice with his uppers his uppers and the way he lands is just like me except his base is not like mine his base doesn't really hang in the air a little bit it, it, it honestly it looks a little bit quicker but it's really not that quick it's so funny because the way he lands is exactly like me. It's so crazy, but of course that's the uppers. Now, um, to talk to you guys about other jump shots as far as patch five goes. Now, since I've given you my jump shot, I advise you to go to your my court or go to the uh, pro am arena, like team pro am, and test out that jump shot. But if you guys want another jump shot that is really, really good, I'm not gonna say the base solely because. A lot of people are going to say, oh, man, that jump shot is broken. 2K Lab said it was broken. But Rudy Gay uppers is fire. And the base 38, yes, I'm going to say it, 38 is still fire. A lot of people left 38 because they felt like after NBA 2K Lab said what they said, they thought that the jump shot was broken. Now, I know a lot of people in the comment section are going to be like, bro, I probably don't know what he's talking about. He is bugging. He tripping, but I got another jump shot for you guys. Oh, by the way, Damian Lillard, he going to stink it up. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. I don't know why they keep putting D. Lillard inside the three-point contest. It makes no sense. But base 61. Yeah, I said it. Base 61. It's a high jumping jump shot. And I can tell you guys right now, you, you're going to be able to find the groove within that jump shot with no problem all right now with base 61 i like to use larry bird and rudy gay 65 35 in favor of bird so you can try jump shot 61 with larry bird and rudy gay um another jump shot which is uh funny but nobody is talking about it is jump shot 11 um basically with patch five 
jump shot 11 has become reborn um i don't know what's going on but if you guys get quick draw on hall of fame if you're a shooting build and you're able to do that quick quick draw on hall of fame with jump shot 11 is insane now you can choose any uppers you like it's going to be all about your timing with the base itself if you guys can get the base down right jump shot 11 is is immaculate right now it's it's one of those jump shots that used to be so insane last year now it doesn't have the same effect as last year as far as jumping up very high very fast very quickly but what happens is it helps the the timing of your jump shot so it'll help you time things a lot better so that you don't botch your jump shots because what a lot of people tend to do is they tend to botch their jump shots because they're worried about how fast the jump shot can get off they shoot contested shots and all of this nonsense now with Kyrie Irving ending now and only scoring 14 points that's a, that's a darn shame by the way um let's talk about um what's been happening on twitter and in a couple youtube videos within the last uh i guess 12 hours so with patch 5 coming out and 2k trying to talk about what they patched as far as the shooting goes as far as the inconsistencies of four white bars and finally uh he scores but basically the consensus is that jump shooting is insane right now and a lot of people want it reverted now i said this since 2k has come out that 2k 20 felt like the jump shooting was so much more easy than it was last year now this is coming from a person that didn't have a shooting build until like my rebirth and everything so when i got my rebirth and i was trying to shoot with my my build and everything once i got my badges it was kind of okay i can hit a little bit but i felt like when nba 2k 20 came out i didn't need any badges i was at the park doing damage with just an 85 overall no badges and once i got quick draw on like silver i barely can miss then i got it on gold barely can miss now on hall of fame contests are hard to get because once i wrap around that screen and i hit like maybe a, a hezzy or something like that or an escape and i got a lot of space between me i'm hitting it every single time almost you know what i mean and at the wreck oh my god you guys don't want to know about the wreck like i got a specific jump shot for the wreck that i won't tell you guys ever about uh solely because chase money told me not to tell you guys but basically don't hurt it uh is anybody watching what i'm watching the harden is thinking it up right now but um like i was saying uh basically uh at the park a lot of people have been having problems um they're saying that jump shooting is just way too easy because now everybody is just aiming for full whites people don't even aim for greens anymore and i feel like for the people that have a bigger skill gap than others that can hit green shots more than others i feel like the skill gap has lessened solely because 10 points harder that sucks solely because now you know people are able to make those full whites more often so a person that used to go four for 11 because they got four whites will now go seven for 11 or eight for 11 and that's and that's a huge change from the previous patch so a lot of people have been asking to revert it i've been seeing it all over twitter um by the way the reason why steph curry is going is because i believe this is a tiebreaker so um he has to put up some points real quick and make sure that uh he can make it over to the next round now uh back to what i was saying uh if you're one of those people that are in the comments asking about reverting shooting i would love to know your personal experience with shooting as well as i want to know the experience of others who feel like shooting may have gotten better or maybe shooting uh feels just a tad bit better or a tad bit less than what it was i would love to know what you guys think because i went into the wreck last night with my new jump shot and i was doing damage um i was getting a shooting badge i think i went like maybe eight for 12 um and i think seven of those were greens so i didn't really make too many full whites but i noticed that uh slightly late was definitely uh a, a reason as well as like a, a few late contests i think i had like 30 or 40 percent contested or something like that on my misses so 
I know for sure that it didn't hurt me as much. And it looks like Kyrie Irving is not going to make it to the next round. So it looks like it's just me and Steph Curry in the final round. Yep. So uh, the tiebreaker's over, and it's time for Steph to go first because obviously I'm the head honcho on the board right now. So he goes first. But I'm um, trying to figure out is there anything else I want to talk to you guys about jump shooting. Um, if you are a person that plays on a TV opposed to a gaming monitor um, and you feel like you can't hit still after the patch, then I would say it's definitely time for you to uh, invest in a gaming monitor or at least look into it, whether you want to rent one or, you know, if you know anybody with a gaming monitor and maybe you want to try out your build on their uh, monitor or something like that, I would definitely look into that because uh, I'm one of those people that play on a one millisecond monitor, which means there's not like much delay from, uh, you know, button input to what happens on screen so you know what i mean i i guess you could say i have a upper hand on others but also my internet is really good too so most of the time when people say man i'm lagging or something like that i usually don't lag until i go to like the west coast servers or something like that that's like the only time that i ever lag now steph curry had 19 points that round didn't didn't uh clear that last rack and he definitely didn't clear that uh money ball rack and uh, it looks like Damian Lillard is also in the uh, in the running for, as well. I forgot that um, it was all about the top three. I don't even know how Damian Lillard made it, but it's okay. I understand, Dame. But uh, let's see if he hit that money ball. And no, he doesn't get the money ball. But uh, let me see. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else before my turn. Because, you know, I want to show off when it's my turn. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, jump shooting. All right, I think that's about it, man. I think I think I've really covered just about everything as far as jump shooting. Um, I gave you guys a couple bases that you could try out. Um, if you skip to this point of the video, um, you can try out Tony Parker base. You can try base 38. You can try base 11, and you can try base 61. You know what I'm saying? Figure out what base works for you. Um, usually when I make the best jump shot videos, I rarely talk about uppers because uppers, honestly to me is more cosmetic than anything because bases there they worry about the milliseconds you know if anybody watches nba 2k lab you know that bases really change the whole outcome in the timing of your jump shot now it's time for me to get loose people 43 points per game 5.5 assists and i'm going to go ahead and choose the third rack again for my money balls i like shooting from the middle because it's straight on and it's much easier and i feel like shooting from the corner is so slow like look look at the hang that my player gets even though i'm greening my player gets a little hang so when i go to the next rack it will be a little bit mistimed you know what i mean now i just hit four straight Let's see if we can make it five straight, green up, six straight, green up, seven straight, green up, eight straight, green up, nine of them babies, green up, and you know what time it is, man. Uh-oh. Can I hit another green? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How long can the streak go? Can I go perfecto? And that right there was the time that I didn't green, but I still hit it. So that tells you guys about patch five right there. Now, the timing on this side of the court is much different. So it's taking me a little bit of time to hit those greens. And you see that I'm trying to take my time to hit that money ball, but I still miss it. But 24 points is definitely going to put me over the top. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Trying to get the timing right, man. Oh, God. But I do end it with the dub. One less than my first round. And it feels good not being able to, you know, have to shoot in every round. I didn't have to shoot in the tiebreaker. And you know what I mean? I didn't have to go first in the final round. So I knew what I had to make. Came out here and did it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys definitely hit that like button. Show your boy some love. I need it for sure. Um, don't forget, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you are subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit that bell. Also, go to your settings on your YouTube app and definitely turn on settings for YouTube because uh, Nodies, for whatever reason, are broken right now and YouTube is trying to fix it. But um, I know that Team IKC and the Nodi gang is going to help me out, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one, man. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.